Hey, what's up everyone? Boozer here. Welcome back to another video. In uh, today's video, we're just going to actually just um, go through some of the gear that we got over CVC. And since there's an artifact training, uh, sorry, artifact enhancement event, we're going to roll up some gear together and uh, yeah, see what we get. Um, and at the same time, we'll complete this artifact enhancement event. Um, super high threshold, um, similar to the first one. And similar to the previous fusions, um, definitely very, very high threshold. So it's going to take about 15 million, uh, probably on average, to reach. So hopefully you guys uh, don't have too much problems with that. Uh, Summon Rush coming up, and then this Dungeon Diver event, Path of Clover, is coming up as well, uh, which I kind of predicted in my uh, fusion plan because then there was a big empty space and there should have been a dungeon diver there. So it makes sense that it was a path event. So I'm catching on, catching on to Plarium's uh, plans. Uh, but yeah, so in the meantime, uh, hopefully your CVC was good. Um, I did manage to win. Uh, we did manage to win our CVC. It was a super nail biter CVC. Uh, we, I went to sleep with an hour and a half left and we were up one and a half million. I noticed that they were climbing a little bit, but honestly, I was too tired to stay up for the end. And I missed all the fireworks at the end because they were pushing like crazy. And uh, luckily, my team uh, managed to hold them off at the, as you can see, it was very close at the end. But they elimin basically got super, super close. Um, and luckily, yeah, we pulled it out. So we got the win. I mean, Plarium said extra rewards. We got extra reaction stuff. Uh, I mean, whatever. Um, it's good. And, uh, you know, tier 6 rewards are good. Uh, and then tier 6 personal are good. I'm going to save these, uh, let them expire, let them, uh, let this CVC expire into my inbox and then I'll claim it for the fusion. So some extra resources always welcome. Um, uh, but yeah, in the meantime, uh, we'll save these for later. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go over the gear, uh, that we got. I did roll some of the gear up to eight. So I'll show you guys what I do personally when I see, uh, when I got like a big stash of gear that I need to go through. Okay. So I always do like, a. so this is probably from the dragon event. So yeah, legendary speed. I'll go for that. This is garbage. So, do that so I always have like a preliminary um, criteria that I have so I'll just like look through it and then delete it right away if it doesn't even if it's not even worth rolling obviously um, so I'll show you guys what I do I use RSL helper obviously uh, hopefully you guys know what that is if you guys don't uh, I will leave a link in the description below but uh, it's basically a uh, program that uh, assists you in playing the game like farming uh, it shows you a lot of stats about your account uh, in one very handy interface. So, uh, yeah, so in the RSL helper, you have the inventory of your gear. So the way I do it is basically I filter by basically unroll gear, which is zero to four. So I'm in the, uh, sorry, inventory tab, unfiltered gear, uh, sorry, unroll gear, and then I have just the one piece. So what I would do is basically select all. So I would select all the unrolled pieces and then I would roll them to eight. Okay, so that's basically what I did this morning. So I did that already. Um, so let's have a look at all the uh, level eight pieces of gear and we'll go from there, right? So I'll move the scroller. So you see I have 420 pieces of level eight gear. So basically at this point, um, I would look for uh, gear with, uh, since I don't have a particular um, champion I'm building or I don't have any particular pieces I need to build um, specifically, I will just mass um, level gear. Obviously, like, um, I have the silver to do this, but I want to do this, like, somewhat efficiently. So... I'm not just going to level all this gear to 16 or 12 like right away. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense. So I'll pick out the best gear. And the way I do that is basically I go to substats. And then I'll go to double rolls. Since this is level 8, I'll go to double rolls. And then I'll go down these stats. So let's say the most important gear, the most important stat would be like speed. So do I have any gear with double speed rolls? Yes, I do. 
do I have any, basically at this point, do I want to roll any of them into triple speed speed pieces? I'm like, yes, I do. Uh, I have two, two rare pieces that I can't, so I'll omit those right away. But right now, I'll select all of the other pieces that I want to roll to 12 and see if I can get triple triple speed. So that's kind of like the way I do it. So I'll go 12 and then upgrade. And then the beautiful thing is the helper will help you upgrade automatically. So, you know, I'll go grab a coffee, make some food, and then it'll come back and I'll come back to a bunch of rolled gear. Um, now, the sometimes the gear rolling on this RSL helper is not perfect, so occasionally it will stop, and then all you have to do is level one level, and then the um, the the program will pick it back up again, and then it'll start the rolling process again. So you know it's not like fully automate, like it's not like you know set it, forget it, and come back, everything's fine. Sometimes you come back and it's like you know it's stalled on like the third item or something. So this is kind of what I do with all the double rolls. And then we basically do the same thing for the triple rolls. <clears throat> okay. So I didn't actually see any of the any of the pieces if they actually rolled um, triples or not. Um, at, that, at, at this point, it's not really that important because like I said, we'll capture that later on when we look for the t uh, level 12 gear. So I'll, I'm still on double gear and I'll look for like accuracy, for example. So which pieces do I care about um, for accuracy, right? So obviously perception set. So, I'll, you know, so I'll go for perception. Of course, you want epic or legendary or better. Uh, yeah, most of this gear is kind of like, you know, leftover pieces almost. So, you know, I'll roll these to 12, these two perception pieces. See if, you know. And then we'll go from there. It's just a bunch of rolling, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we'll go over some of the gear uh, afterwards. Uh, so level 8, it's only worth 10 artifact enhancement points. So you kind of get an idea. Like if you roll 300 pieces of gear to level 8, you have 3,000 points in the artifact enhancement event. We saw that the threshold was 4,775, so it gives you a rough ballpark of what you need. Um, and obviously, I'm talking about like six-star gear. Uh, level 12 six-star gear, I believe, is 65 points. So we have to be a little bit more mindful about how many um, pieces we want to go to 12. Uh, um, yeah. So resistance gear. Um, it's only going to be good in particular sets. Um, I mean, stone skin, so I'll do the stone skin gear for now. And I guess protection gear. So we'll do this. Hopefully we get some like pieces that we're, we'll be excited to roll to 16 just for the video. So this is basically what you do. Um, RSL Helper really helps in terms of just making it fast and efficient and having your inventory ready at a glance. Okay, so that's done. So I'll go down like crit rate. So crit rate, uh, obviously you're looking for a damage set. You don't really have anything in a damage set. I mean, you could do like this five star stone skin piece but yeah I don't think any of these are super good so I'm just gonna pass for now crit damage uh, again not super great I mean at this point we could just roll some of this stuff for the sake of rolling it uh, yeah okay let's do that And then you guys can have a look at basically like how many triples I end up 
getting. Uh, it's kind of fun when you have a bunch of triples and then you kind of mass make them 16 and then you see how many quads you can get from that. That's actually like, you know, it feels like, oh, I got a quad. Uh, it feels like um, your chances are high because every single item you're rolling is a triple, but obviously your chances are very low. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go to the 12, level 12 gear. And here I'm going to look for my triple rolls. Okay, so obviously the most important one would be speed. Actually, I do have some triple roll speed, epic pieces, and legendary pieces. Funny enough, I have this weird... Uh, I have this triple roll boot with speed. It's like the worst one. I must have like automatically rolled this and then I wasn't even looking at the stats. But like this boot is not usable. Even if it rolls quad speed, it's not usable. So I'll have to do like this one, this one. Actually, the triples, the only the legendary ones are worth rolling. That's the thing too. So you have to look for legendary with the triple rolls. But I, I'm not going to roll the stone skin one because this is like basically like a cell. And then this one's like a five star piece. I mean, we could go try it. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get the quad speed, I guess. It's not a great piece. <clears throat> we did not get it. That's okay. Might still be useful somewhere down the line. Uh, so now we're looking for... Any triple accuracies? We do have triple accuracies here in perception, but we can't roll them to quads, so that's that. Resistance, nope. We have one triple in an epic piece. We have a triple crit rate legendary piece. We can take a stab here. Let's see if we hit the quad. We do not. <laughs> Look at this piece. This shield, triple crit rate, crit damage. Wrong set, of course. But I mean, you could put this on... Um, I'm not too sure, actually. Probably not going to be used, to be honest. And then crit damage. We don't have any legendary gear that we can roll to quad. Alright, so a little bit unfortunate that we don't actually have anything uh, super worthwhile to roll to a quad. Uh, I wanted to do that for the video. But we'll have a quick look at the artifact enhancement. Alright. So we're short 1500. So 1500 is about, that's about, f I think, four. Yeah, about four level 16s that we need to do. So I think I'm going to save that for, um, I think I need to gear up and uh, gear out. Uh, a couple champions just for some new teams. I'm working on some new um, spider comps uh, just because we had this spider update today. So I'll definitely do that. But anyways, I hope that was a little bit uh, helpful or insightful about how I use the RSL helper and how maybe that's uh, something you guys weren't aware of. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.